Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be looking at how to assign tasks to other team members on Google Tasks. Just a few days ago, I did a video on how you can organize your tasks on Google Tasks. Google Tasks is so ideal for small teams or small businesses because you can use it to create unlimited projects and unlimited tasks. So today we are going to be looking at how do you actually assign those tasks to your team members. To do that, you go into your Gmail and you come over to chat. Over on chat and then move down to where you have spaces. If you don't already have spaces created, this is how it's going to look. Click on find a space to join. So we click on create a space and we give our space a name. You can actually add an emoji here just to make things interesting. I'm going to add this trophy emoji and we're going to create a space. Oh, we have our Audible Talents space created here. And you can see right now we only have one team member. The next thing we need to do now is to actually add members of our team to this space so that we can chat with them, share files with them. You can just add some files here. And then over here, you'll see where you get to share the tasks that you have created or that you want to create with your team members. This is where you get to create those tasks, assign due dates to them, and then assign those tasks to specific team members of your team. And what we need to do is to add team members to this space. So to do that, you go back to your chat page. And from here, you can add members, you can share a file, and then you can assign tasks. You can also see some third party apps that you can connect with to make things more interesting and more engaging for you and your team members. If you want to see more software, you can click there and you know just scroll through them and yeah, just pick the one you want. There are so many software that you can connect to your um, space here. But for today, we just want to go straight to assigning tasks to our team members. And to do that, the first thing we must do is to add those team members. So right over here, I'm going to add some members of my team. Just add their emails and then you click add. So you get the confirmation that your team members have already been invited. All right, so I'm going to share my screen now and actually show you what happens after you have sent the invitation to your team members. So over here, you see that Google sends an email to the team members that you have invited. So your team members must accept that invitation that was sent to them. So you do that by clicking on open in Google chat and then you click join. And you see now that your team member can see the Audible Talent space and you can also see that another team member has joined the Audible Talent space. And you can also see once I expand this that everything that happens on the team this team member can actually see what's happening in this space. All right, now that we have added a team member, let's go back to our tasks and let's try to add a space task here. So let's say we want to create a task that says call the manager, for instance. So once the task is created, the next thing we want to do is we want to assign that task. So we assign the task to the team member and we can actually add a due date. Let's say we want this task to be completed tomorrow at around, let's say 10 a.m. Okay. You see that this task has been assigned to a team member. And if you go on to check the team member's email, you would see that the team member can see that they have been at mentioned and that a task has been created. And so they can see here, okay, I'm going to try and expand this so that you can see this better. 
So you can see now that the team member can see the task that has been created and that the task has been assigned to that actual team member. And you can actually see the due dates that they are supposed to complete that task. So this is how you can actually assign tasks to your team members. And another thing you need to know, you can share files with members of your team. So all you need to do is click on share file and then you can upload your files on your Google Drive and share it with members of your team. What about when it comes to collaborating with them? This is actually where you can have conversations with your team. Probably you are working on some tasks together. This is where you can, you know, communicate with them real time. You also can see some buttons here that helps you to actually format your texts. If you want, you can add some emojis to actually make the conversations you are having more engaging. And then you can even share gifts with members of your team, enriching your collaboration. And over here, you can upload files, you can leave voice notes if you want. And here, right from the chat area, you can actually create Google Meet links to share with members of your team so that you guys can jump on a collaboration meeting together. So this is how you can assign tasks to members of your team. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead into the comment section and, you know, just leave your thoughts there. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, why don't you subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you in the next video.